Today we're going to be going over the BMW 330i by Kyosho. This is the coupe in 1 18th scale. Let's just do a quick rotation around the car. Very good details on this car that I'm going to be going into in a little bit. I'm going to show you guys all the uh, opening features as well. Um, but first we'll start at the front. Uh, down here at the bottom we have this nice mesh uh, grill that you can actually see the intercooler down there just a little bit. Uh, sorry the line is kind of bad, but the silver down there, um, that's the intercooler. Um, down here we got some pretty good lights and the quality of the lights is really good. Um, you know, I mean, there's a bit of, you know, glue residue maybe right here. Um, and maybe over here on the corner, but, you know, just, just looking at it from a distance, I mean, the car looks wonderful. Um, not too many gripes around it. Um, the headlights got really good detail as well. They look just like the real ones. And this is the, the pre-LCI car, so this is the first generation of the, um, this, this E92 coupe. So the real car would have uh, halogen daytime running lights instead of the LEDs like the uh, like the LCI, mo LCI models have. Um, let's go to the side. Uh, the, the side marker on the car is pretty accurate. Um, you know, it, it looks like they just glued on a piece of plastic, but you know that's how the, the real car looks. So pretty good. Uh, down to the wheels, we have really good rubber tread. Um, as you can see, really detailed on the tires. And the rims look fantastic as well. Going in, we have the brake calipers painted in silver. Um, I will say on this, on this model, the 330i, I think the brakes were a bit smaller on the real car. And up here, I think... <laughs> I think they should be down, down a bit more uh, on on the real car. As so that that's probably not a accurate representation of the brake calipers, but you know it's silver and this is uh, technically the base model car. So you know what I think that they did a pretty good job uh, down there. Uh, also for the roof. I'm just realizing this now. <laughs> I think most of these cars, if not all of them, came with sunroofs. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, but this one does not have a sunroof on it. Which, uh, I don't know, might, might bother someone that uh, has had this car before and I guess you don't have your sunroof. Let's go back here. And yeah, the, the car is, I'm, I'm sorry, the way I'm turning it, uh, it's just on a piece of paper, but you know, fully moving model. Um, Sorry, yeah, but it, it does move. Let's get it back on here. And it moves very well. No, no like sounds you'd get in some other models once you move them. Uh, the back of the car looks amazing. Um, definitely one of my favorite angles of it. And I, I just like it because, you know, this is like a model of a, kind of like a, like a regular car, you know? Um, it's not a supercar. It's, it's like a, it's a base model sports car. Um, and I think it's awesome that they made a model of it. So let's, ah, it's peeling a bit. Uh, yeah, so if you get this car, um, these, these stickers do peel off and this one is starting to peel off a little bit. Um, doesn't really bother me because, you know, I don't really play with these cars very often or at all. I just look at them. Um, let's go down to the exhaust. We got some nice tubes. Uh, I don't know how deep they go, but they look like they go down pretty good. Um, so I think they did a good job with the detail there. The tail lights are pretty accurate. Um, you know, there's nothing really to speak of. These are just, this will, this will just uh, be red when the car is on. There's this middle line right here. And this is your turn signal light. So I think it looks pretty good. The trunk does open. Um, I might need a minute to <laughs> open it, so I'll do that towards the end of the video when I start opening up everything else. That'll probably be the last one. There is a bit of a panel gap right here. Um, 
and maybe they're all kind of like that. I think on the other side, it looks a bit better. Um, but this, well, this was a used model, so, and I got it for a good deal, so I can't really complain about the quality. Uh, on this car, the, the mirrors are pretty easy to come off. This one is broken, actually. Uh, wiggles a bit. But the other one is on there pretty well, so just be careful when you're buying these because, you know, it's really easy to break something like that. So let me get this hood open for you guys real quick. Uh, all right, so I've got the hood open, and I always use these, these tool keys because you don't want to break anything on these cars. So this is the engine bay. Um, this is the 330i, so I had the I had the real car of the 328i, and um, just a bit of the difference is I think it's probably true, but this has a a silver engine cover as opposed to the 328i's. They have a black engine cover. Um, the engine detail is pretty decent. Um, I mean, there's a bit of plastic around. Uh, just that surrounds the engine that, you know, they could have added more detail. Um, you know, like just right here, the, this should be down more and you could be able to get in there on the real car. Uh, but you know, this is just a model, so can't expect everything to be amazing. It doesn't go down too deep, um, the depth. So the, what you see in here is really all you're going to get. doesn't look too bad though. We'll see. Um, there is no struts on the hood of the car, which is kind of a, a sore point of this model. I, I hate to see these uh, big fat uh, holders of the hood. I, I don't know what the word is, I guess. But yeah. Um, because it's like that, I don't know if all the models are like this, but you know, I find it pretty hard to get the hood down. It's kind of It's kind of notchy. It doesn't really have a good feeling to it, so. You know, it's not something you're going to want to open all the time. Now let's get these doors open. Give me a minute. All right, so I got the rest of the car open. Just get a good look at that interior. Very detailed. You can see the buttons on the dashboard and on the steering wheel. Um, you got your the correct uh, column shifter um, for your uh, window wipers and turn signals. And down in there, you have your light switch for your fog lights and um, daytime running lights and stuff like that. The trunk, uh, nothing too much to see in there. It does go, it's black, so it's kind of hard to see. Nothing, good, nothing too much to talk about. Um, on the real car, though, there is a, there's a panel right here that this should be hollow. But again, it's, it's it's nice. It did some flocking down there, so it's a bit of a carpet imitation. But it look it looks pretty good, and it feels good too. Um, let's check out that passenger side of the interior. Got the BMW logo on the door sill. Doesn't look very good. Um, in the real car, that should be a silver on the door sill but they just did all black here. And again, the, the carpets uh, on the floor are flocked, so it's got that carpet feeling on there. Looks really good. Um, and if I can show you the back seats, I will. Uh, might be a bit of a challenge, but it looks really good. Got your seat belts down there. Overall, really solid model. These have been going up in price uh, fairly ridiculously. I, I see only like one comparable model to this car online for sale on eBay right now. And they want about $150 for it. Um, I think I picked this one up for $65, no box. Uh, absolute steal, so I knew I had to pull the trigger on it um, as soon as I got it. So uh, again, no box, so I'm sorry I can't show you that today. But overall, highly recommend this model. If you had one of these cars in the past, uh, definitely pick one up. Uh, definitely pick one up, because I think uh, soon enough, you won't be able to find these for 
decent prices anymore, especially the black colorway, which is the, in my opinion, the hardest one to find right now. Cause you know, I think a lot of people have the black car. So um, they just spot these models. But thank you for watching my video again. And I hope you guys have a nice day.